pushback from my brother Arthur, and he said, he said that vaping was for losers. And like, do you have, any, do you have anything that I could say to him? <clears throat> well, well, ask, ask him, uh, ask him uh, if having COPD and uh, and uh, collapsed lungs is, is being a loser or not. One sec, well, just one second. Arthur, <clears throat> how do you fancy a collapsed lung? All right, young. Life. Boing, big shit. No, yeah, I didn't like that. That was. <laughs> yeah, so I was saying, so this, this image of Mammy Less, this gung ho, it's all well and good, but like. Now then, today I am doing two prank calls to different vape shops as Tommy Shelby. The smoke is bad for you, Tommy, but you need to give it up. Please drop a like and enjoy. I do a great impression of a hot dog. Good afternoon. <clears throat> I'm looking uh, to give up smoking. Yeah. I was wondering if that is something that you could help me with. Yes. Um, best device is the T18E, which is 25 quid. And um, like how? I mean, in, in terms of smoking to vaping, like I've been eating better and going to Zumba classes and stuff. How much of a difference do you think it would it makes? <clears throat> Sort of, uh, I can't give any. I mean, you know, there's, there's the science of, of, uh, of, sort of, so I don't think it's that much like, by the way. <laughs> uh, yeah, the science of, um, uh, of, of what's the shop, you know. Yeah. Um, do you have yeah. anything, um, <clears throat> do you have anything with incredible, like, mouthfeel? Like, the way it f feels in your mouth, it's authentic. You mean as, um, like a cigarette, you mean? Yeah, like, a Really good mouthfeel. <laughs> well, basically, what happens is there's, there's, broadly speaking, there's two types of vaping. Uh, you got mouth to lung vaping, which uh, basically uh, devices with thin ends. I don't know about your your other customers, but I have a bit of a like a <clears throat> like a hard man image around town. I was wondering if it would. <laughs> if, well, would I, it... I'm, I'm I'm six foot tall and um, eighteen stone and, and a bit like a. I had some people go to Brickshire House, so uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> I can identify with that, yeah. Yeah, and you managed to keep <coughs> the uh, the old image intact. Yeah, I mean, to, to be quite honest with the people, um, I mean, it's massively more socially acceptable now than it was, um, you know, it, it, yeah, I so I wouldn't, I wouldn't really concern myself. I mean, I mean, in all fairness, if it's a concern, there are devices which are more compact, which um, you can easily pop in your pocket and, and have... Uh, Sort of slide here and there when you need yeah. to. And like uh, I'm <clears throat> sort of trying to visualise myself with like with a whiskey in one hand and a vape in the yes. other and just trying to imagine what would that look like to customers if they I mean I, mean, I suppose I suppose stereotypically uh, a manly vape would be what's wrong with a, a, a larger device going they clean the but I mean it's a yeah. funny one a lot of those pubs very often but when I've been to pubs you like know, it's, big, um, it's not the Smokers rather than vapors. Um, yeah. It's still quite unusual to see a vapor out. It's not how big the device is, it's how you use it, right? <clears throat> well, I mean, yeah, I mean, some devices, you know, you'd, 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 you'd have, to, have to hold them with a sort of somewhat open grip, but, um, but when I mentioned this, uh, when I mentioned this to my family, I got a bit of a bit of pushback from my brother Arthur, and he said, he said that vaping was for losers. And like, do you, have any, do you have anything that I could say to him? <clears throat> well, well ask, ask him, uh, ask him uh, if having COPD and, uh, and uh, collapsed lungs is, is being a loser or not. One sec, well, just one second. Arthur, <clears throat> how do you fancy a collapsed lung? All right, Tom. Life, fucking big shit. No, yeah, he didn't like that. That was... <laughs> Well, I'm, I'll, I'll come and have a look, and if I like what I see, uh, I'll be looking to make it a part of Shelby Company Limited. Um, so, <clears throat> yeah, thank you very much uh, for oh, that. Quite right. Yeah. 
Right, uh, yep, I'll come and have a look. Okay, See mate, cheers for that. See you later. Bye. <clears throat> bye, bye. <laughs> if you want to see more of this, make sure you're subscribed. Here's the second one. Good morning, Betsy. Morning. <clears throat> Hello. Morning. Uh, I'm looking to give up uh, smoking. Hey, sorry, I can't some... hear you properly. Hello? Hello. <clears throat> Hello. Hello. I'm looking to give up uh, smoking. Yeah? Yeah. Is that something you can help with? Of course we can. Um, how many do you smoke a day, roughly? Uh, about 60 cigarettes. Hello? Hello? Oh, about hi. 60 cigarettes. Yeah, cigarettes. <clears throat> Sorry, the line's really bad. I can't hear a thing you're saying. Is it really bad? Can you hear me now? I can hear you now, yeah. I can hear you now. Yeah, I'll try and speak a little clearer. <laughs> um, it's a bit sorry. of a problem. <clears throat> um, so, sorry, you say you're smoking cigarettes every day, yeah? Yeah, about uh, 50, many, 60 cigarettes. Day, about 50 or 60. Oh, so many. So many. Is well, that a lot? Is that... It's just because I'm unsettled. That's, that's, that's quite a lot. <laughs> it's uh, definitely in the highest side. Um, oh, really? What's... Uh, what's What's average? Well, an average smoker normally does 20 a day. Oh, fair. That's, no, that's quite a lot. So, um, I mean, are you buying cigarettes or are you roll-ups? Uh, it's uh, roll-ups. Roll-ups, did you say? Roll-ups, yeah. 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 So, I mean, it's not as expensive, but if you're buying cigarettes, obviously that's more and more expensive. Um, so, yeah, you, I'll be honest with you, it's obviously achievable and anything's achievable if you uh, put your head to it. Obviously, e-cigarettes yeah. are a nicotine replacement. I guess like one of the problems that I've had is uh, my brother is a bit, my brother Arthur said vaping was for losers, right? But Sorry, I, I can't hear you. <clears throat> my brother Arthur yeah. is a bit of a problem. He said that vaping was for losers, but I disagree. Like what should I say to him? Say that again. My brother Arthur, yeah, when I've brother mentioned Arthur. it, <clears throat> he said that vaping is for losers. What should I say to him? They've been for what? For losers. Um, it's each to their own, I guess, in opinion. We're all, we all have our own opinions on life. Yeah. Um, obviously, I'm not here to make it a cool product. I'm here to make you stop smoking. Yeah, like if I <clears throat> have a bit of a, like a hard man image around town, is it possible to maintain a hard man image? So they get sorry. Do you reckon it's it's possible to maintain like a hard man image around town and still vape? Um, it's can, that's up to your image, I guess. That's if you wanna, obviously, if if you want a hard man image, I'm sure you can maintain that easily. Yes, yeah, I'd have to maintain it. Yeah, fair enough. Uh, what, like, what's uh, what's the cheapest set you have? Uh, the cheapest setup we do is twenty five pounds. 25 and what does that go up to like what's the most expensive it can go all the way up to about 100 pound 200 pounds 300 shillings yeah fair enough right well thank you very much no uh, problem. and i'll come and have a look all right thank, thank you. you goodbye please uh, drop a like also i do a great impression of a charlie please.